Another way to analyze motion is graphically. The first type of graph we want to look at is position versus time. And position versus time shows you where an object is located at each instant in time. So for instance, in this first graph, we're going to have the person stand still at the 5 meter mark. You'll notice the position versus time graph is a horizontal line at the 5 meter mark. Okay, we can do something a little more complicated. And this time we want to look at the object's position versus time. So we'll reset the person back to Let's get rid of these other graphs. Reset the person back to zero. And this time we'll watch the person move and we'll watch the graph. And we'll see that we get a linear graph. And the linear graph shows us that the object is moving forward at a constant speed. Anytime you have a linear graph for position time, it says that the object's moving at a steady speed. Okay, if we take this object and move them more slowly, Let's see what happens to their graph. So let's bring them back to zero. And let's clear out the old graph. And let's start collecting data. So if they move more slowly, the slope is more gentle. The slope of a position time graph tells you your velocity. OK, let's try and do something a little more complicated. Bring this person back to zero. And let's watch what happens this time. So if you watch the person's movement and you watch the graph, we'll see that the person's moving faster and faster as time goes on. And you'll see the graph is a curved graph with a steadily increasing slope. Anytime you see a graph like this, it shows you that the object is accelerating. It is gaining speed. We can also have the object lose speed. So let's see how this is going to work out. We'll actually start the object all the way back here. And let's start fresh. And clear out what's there. And begin. And you can see this time the slope is getting less and less steep as time goes on. So anytime you see the curve curving this way, it tells you the object is losing speed and that would be a negative acceleration. A negative acceleration could also say that the uh, person is, move, is gaining speed backwards. So if we let this continue, you'll see now the object is gaining speed. It's becoming steeper and steeper, but it's a negative s slope. So the object is moving backwards. Okay, we could have the same thing with this negative slope, meaning the object's moving backwards without acceleration. So let's see how this is going to work. Okay, we will start with our object all the way at this end. And let's try to collect some data. Let's clear out the old graph and begin. And you can see the person moving backward at a steady speed gives you a negative slope. Okay, so to summarize, a horizontal line means the object's at rest. A linear graph means he's moving at a constant speed. If it's a negative slope, he's going backwards. And a positive slope means he's going forward. If the graph is curved, that means its slope is changing, which means the object is accelerating. He could be gaining speed, or losing speed. He can have a positive acceleration or a negative acceleration. Okay, the second type of graph we want to look at is a velocity versus time graph. And a velocity versus time graph tells you how fast and in what direction an object is moving at each instant in time. So, if we start out with the object moving backwards again, you can see that the velocity is steady. He's moving at a steady backwards speed. OK, we can have him move with a steady forward speed. 
clear out the old graph start collecting and you can see steady speed is a horizontal line for velocity versus time okay we can also have uh, the object when he's at rest the velocity versus time graph will be a horizontal line but this time it's at zero okay let's get this guy to accelerate Let's move them back. Oops. Let's clear it. And you can see this time he's accelerating until he hit the wall. So ignore that part. But you'll see an acceleration shows a changing velocity. So the velocity started at zero and ended at about six meters per second. If he was slow, if he was moving backwards or slowing down the velocity graph would have a negative slope. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Oops, let's clear it. And start anew. See the object slowing down, gaining speed backwards. So you can see his speed started at about 4 meters per second, slowed down to zero, and then he began to gain speed, but in the backward direction. So a negative slope means a negative acceleration.